Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Tourist Trophy. Today is episode number 10. If you guys do want to stay up to date with the rest of the Tourist Trophy series, then make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And make sure to check out the links in the description for our socials. We've got Instagram, Discord, and Twitter. But hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so we are now going to move on to Suzuki. And as you can see there, there is one motorbike already unlocked. And the reason for that is because this bike is given to you free at the start. I don't think there's actually a challenge for it. But uh, we're just going to go straight on to bike number two. But this is like the first one for us. Uh, so this is the Suzuki Skywave 250 S 2005. And we're going to go in a white color around Autumn Ring Mini. Let's do this. Okay, here we go, back to the Autumn Ring Mini. We can't get away from this track. It's like, you must do a race at this track for every single manufacturer, no matter what. Oh my gosh, I think this is actually slower than any of those um, Honda bikes that we rode. This is definitely slower. Without a shadow of a doubt. Oh, here we go. We're in the lead. We're in the lead. We're in the lead. Can we keep it? And we can. 42.475 seconds. Very good. GG's all round. Nice. I will take it. And that was against a 21 horsepower Honda Forza S. So maybe the Forza might have been a bit slower. Um, but that's still a pretty decent run. And here we go. The Suzuki Skywave 250 SS. We have acquired it. It looks horrendous. I'm sorry, but I don't like the look of mopeds that much. It's just something about them. They just look meh. And they're too big as well. Like, I'd rather sit on top of a bike... Then sort of sit in the bike, if that makes sense. It just doesn't seem right. But uh, next up is the Suzuki GSX R400. I mean, I'm saying like, saying that like I ride a bike, but I don't. Here we go, Suzuki. And this, for a tiny bike, seems pretty powerful, actually. See, this is the kind of bike that I would like to ride or something like that one that's like you're on top you're not sitting in it oh, i do you remember the trend back in like the 90s and the 2000s when people tried to make like concept cars that were bikes they've obviously like stopped doing that and just stopped bothering but like they were just horrendous and shouldn't exist a car should not be mixed in with a bike. They are two completely different modes of transport and they should be kept separate. Not joined together. You either ride a bike and enjoy the thrill of near death and the wind in... Well, I mean, you've got a helmet, but like being open or you're in an enclosed box with the safety of a roll cage. You can't have both. Don't try and mess with both. I'm trying to get back up to where I was. Here we go. We're getting the outside. Awesome. Perfecto. Even my AI wouldn't have been able to take that corner. So I'm glad that, time, uh, that timer ran out. Awesome. And here we go, the GSX-R400 from 1984. Look at it. It's a fairly decent looking bike. Like, I like bikes because bikes look cool in general. But there are obviously, like, some bikes that look better than other bikes. But all bikes just look cool. Like, look at that. The GSX-1100S Katana Final Edition. That looks stunning. Let's go. High speed ring time. All right, here we go. High speed ring. I do like the high speed ring. 
But um, I don't think it's very suited for bikes. Um, there's definitely something with... Look at the wobble there. That is insane. But yeah, this track is not built for bikes whatsoever. And some of the original tracks in this game obviously were built for cars because Gran Turismo had four Gran Turismo games before Taurus Trophy even was a thing. I really want to see a Taurus Trophy 2 on the PS5. Polyphony could do it. And they could make an amazing game. Because it wouldn't take them... I mean, it might take them a while. But they could do it. Oh, we've gone very wide there. Polyphony could totally do it and get away with it. And it would be amazing. Nice. One second behind. We need to gain that second somehow. Got to slow down there, otherwise I'm going into the barrier. But there we go. Nice. Oh, slow down, slow down, slow down. There we go. 1 minute 50.031. Fair enough. That was a decent lap. Very good. Let's go to the next one then. And here we go. We have the 1100S Katana Final Edition. It's a very nice looking bike actually. I don't know whether I want it if I had a bike. But it's fairly nice. So next up, GSX R600 from 2005. Now these are the kind of bikes that I love the look of, and especially the Suzuki's. This, this is an amazing bike for me. And I love the look of it. I feel like I want it in red. Let's go. Grand Valley East section. Right, here we go, super bike time. I mean, I wouldn't say these are super bikes, but they're definitely sports bikes. And these are the nicest of them. We've got to try and catch up. Okay, nice. This isn't a racing modified bike either, so I can use it, I think, in the street races. The street series. I'm pretty sure. Oh. Uh, I don't want to do a wheelie. Not today. Very nice. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Floor it. See if we can get the pass. We have done the pass. And there we go. We won. Completely fell off our bike, but who cares? We got the pass. That was awesome as well. First try. Very decent. And here we go. Suzuki GSX R600. Absolutely stunning looking bike. I love this one. I think there's some more Suzukis as well. There's something about this Suzuki that has that sort of shape that just looks amazing. Uh, but next up is the GSX R750. So it's a more powerful version of the bike that we just drove. That is awesome. And we're going to go in the blue and white. Very nice. On the same track again. Okay, bike number five, and this definitely immediately feels a little bit quicker. Nice. Are you going to shift down? No. Just rolling in second. Nice. 
Nice, nice, nice. Perfect. Oh, oh, slow down, slow down. No, 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 no. What are you doing? Okay, we're staying ahead. We're staying ahead. There we go. 55 seconds that took. That was much quicker than last time. How has my guy just fallen off like that, though? That is unbelievable. How does the AI do that? Disappointed. And there we go, the GSX-R 750. Brilliant. That is a very nice color. I really like that color, I really do. Next up is the G500 Gamma from 1985. This is the first of the junior licensed bikes. So let's go and, oh, that red and white looks very good. Time for a full lap of the Grand Valley Speedway. Right, here we go. This bike is so much slower, jeez. You would have expected, like, if you were going up in a level, you would have a much faster bike or a much more powerful or something. Not this thing. To be fair though, it is like 20 years older, so kind of understandable. I don't even know where the other bike is. The other bike is heading towards the next corner there. No wheelies can be done on this bike either. Nine seconds behind we are. Nice, nice. That is such an old sounding bike engine. Perfect. Come on, nice. That is awesome. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Nice. Okay, we can see the bike now. We're catching up. Can we overtake him before we hit the second lap? And by the looks of it, we can and we have beaten them. Very nice. 2 minutes 11.328. To be honest, quite a slow lap. Quite a slow lap. Very good, very, very good. And here we go. Suzuki RG500 Gamma is now ours. It's now our bike. Lovely. That's a very good bike. Would definitely prefer the other bikes though to that one. Uh, but next up is, uh, so we have eight more bikes to go. We got the GSX 1400 now. So this is, this looks very powerful. Look at the size of the engine. That is insane. But problem, we're at Laguna Seca. So this is going to take me a million attempts. Here we go at the start. Actually, this bike feels very stable compared to the other bikes. So maybe we might have a better chance of actually doing this as long as we watch out for the corkscrew I think the final corner should be okay we are eight seconds behind right now 
Go, go, go. Come on. Slow down very hard there. I think we lost some time with that last corner. The bridge was thinking, by the way. It had a banner that said, hmm. I want to slow down early for this corner. Because it is so dangerous. Awesome. Got through just about. Get around this corner. Very nice. GG's to be spread all around and off-road. Fuck me. Okay, here we go. Attempt number two. Normally, I don't go off at that corner. But, um, okay. We'll try again. Awesome. Eight seconds behind still. So uh, the number three is a decent breaking point on the side of that road. I think it's actually interesting that the Laguna Seca doesn't give you... Um, what is it? They don't give you distance markers, but instead just numbers randomly placed, and you have to use those as sort of your breaking points. It's probably a much more fair way of doing it around Laguna Seca. It, instead of giving you like distances where people, most of the time, cars will break at the same amount for the same distance. If you just give them numbers and you have to work out the distance between them, that would make motorsport much more interesting. Fuck's sake. Can I not get that final corner? See, one thing I like about the Laguna Seca is the fact that the distance boards are not actual distances for the breaking points, but instead they are just plain numbers. And you have to rely on these boards to actually slow down, right? A lot of time racing drivers don't rely on just like their own brain power and that. They're not like, oh yeah, I need to break here to get to the corner. They don't do calculations like that. They do reference points. So you go, if I break here at this point on the track, I know I will slow down by the corner. And those are normally represented by distance boards. This track doesn't have that as such. So therefore you can't just work out, oh, 200 meters will get me slowed down from 100. That was a rough estimate, by the way. You have to actually work out a breaking point. Which is a very cool. We go nice. Go around that corner the quickest we ever have done. Whoa, stay on. Nice. Right, if I don't get this on this go, uh, Tourist Trophy Series is cancelled. So uh, if you're seeing this, uh, I've obviously finished this attempt. Honestly, though, the Laguna Seca is the worst track in this game. I normally praise it. And it is a good track. Just not for bikes. I actually wonder if anyone else has problems with this track in their walkthroughs. Nice. 
That is very good there. Awesome. Right, slow down, slow down, slow down. Let's get around the corkscrew safely, please, today. No! Series is cancelled. <laughs> okay, this is going to be it. If we don't get it now, series is definitely cancelled. So I know we have to do a safety break on the corkscrew and the final corner. And a safety break is pretty much you break way earlier than you need to. No matter what. Because I can't get the breaking point for either of those corners right. No matter what bike I'm using. So a uh, safety break initiated. At least we got this corner very well this time. Awesome. Perfect. There you go. See, much earlier than we need to. Nice. Got around there safely. And in fact, I think the second to last corner as well, we might have to break earlier than needed. Just because we have gone off twice there with this bike. Which is surprising, because I did compliment it on my first run, saying that it felt really stable. There we go. Much better. Obviously, the AI bike has gotten a massive head start now because of going slow on that final corner. So as long as we can catch him up before either the corkscrew or the final corner, we shouldn't lose too much time on him and be able to beat him. Awesome. We are catching up. Three seconds, I think. No, two. Better than what I thought. And here we go. We're past. Let's get this done and dusted and finished with. Two. One. There we go. Ah, oh, unbelievable. That was ridiculous. That took at least eight attempts. Crazy. Crazy. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button or hit that merch link in the description. And don't forget to check out the description for our social links. We have Instagram, Discord, and Twitter. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.